Welcome here. It says, what is synthetic division? So when talking about synthetic division, we're going to use a little algorithm, all right, that's going to help us solve it. And there's a couple special things that we need to understand. We can only use synthetic division when we can have our divisor written in the form of a binomial of x minus x. So it has to be a degree of 1 for your variable. You can't use a quadratic x squared or a cubic x cubed. It has to be a linear binomial with you know, x minus k, where k is going to be your constant. So here's where it works. If I have a binomial that I'm going to divide into a polynomial here, what I have is I have the coefficients a, b, c, and d. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the value of k. Now remember, it's x minus k. So the actual value of k is just going to be the opposite value. So here's an example. If I set x minus 3, my k would be positive 3. Right? You're going to be taking the opposite value. If I did x plus 4, my k would now be negative 4. You're taking the opposite value, x minus k, and here is k. OK, so that's one of the big mistakes. The next big mistake that we need to go through, now what we're going to do, well, before I get to the next big mistake, what we're going to do is we're going to take the coefficients of each term. So I'm going to take a, b, c, and d. So you take the coefficients of each term. Now, let's pretend I didn't have a linear term there. All right. If I don't have a linear term, we still need to have that place value for the linear term x. So what I do, if I didn't have a c, you know, you could see if I just had a polynomial that looked like this, you're going to put a 0 in front of there, because that's the value of c, because really you could say 0 times x. All right? But I'm not going to be doing an example. I'm going to have videos that will show you how to do examples. I just want to kind of go over what exactly the process of synthetic division does. And it's just a very quick and easy way for us to divide a binomial into a polynomial. All right, so really kind of the first steps that we're going to do is when doing synthetic division, you take the coefficients and list them, and then you take the opposite of k and equal, um, or x minus k, and uh, set it outside of there. Now, first thing you're going to do is you're going to bring your a all the way down, and you're going to drop it down. Then what you do is you multiply your a times k. So your a times k, you're going to multiply it, and then that product goes below your b. Then what you do is you add vertical. So b plus a plus k is going to be your next solution. So it would be a k plus b. And I think this will make a little bit more sense exactly when I get into uh, doing some problems. But just notice, and that, just notice when you're going to be multiplying your diagonal. So then the next thing I do is this value, whatever b plus a k is, I'm going to take that product or that sum and then multiply it by k. Whatever that product is, I put it now below c. Then c plus that uh, product equals my new sum. Then I multiply, I keep on going across. So I'll do a little bit more examples. I'll do some if you want to go and view them. The important thing is when looking at synthetic division is that these values down here are going to be your new coefficients. And I just don't like this video. 